the very first requirement for innovation is to be curious. Where a person is open to considering the possibility of something that appears to be impossible and be skeptical about something which seems to be certain. You know, to be enthusiastic, to be open about something which is unknown. That I still remember that as a child, the moment I get a book, the first thing is to look, what is there in the book? I, I think this is, uh, this is very fundamental. So as a child, uh, cooking to me was mixing colors, mixing spices, uh, looking into all these different ingredients. In a way, it, it becomes that uh, fundamental or building blocks to create something bigger. They say um, that chemists make good cooks. And I think that's for that reason, because you start with the periodic table, you have all these different elements which have their own unique properties at an atomic level, compound level, when you combine different elements together. I, I like uh, I like nature and I like the sea in particular. So I spend as much of the time as I can, you know, by the, by the sea. I'm probably a bit geeked about also materials when it comes to nature, because there's so many cool things that you can Explore. So there are now materials that can be synthesized. Nanomaterials, which is really a very, very general term, but uh, there is so much interesting things going on in that space now. Band gap structure, the metamaterials, graphene is one example of that. That you can take graphene and, and mix maybe a, a percent or a tenth of a percent into um, you know, a polymer or into composites. And of course also coatings, trying a different application with, with putting nanomaterial into coatings. There are a lot of other applications there where this technology could be used. So, so again, I think it's about connecting people to explore these opportunities. So that is the curiosity, if you will, right? But we have to be careful that curiosity alone uh, will not be sufficient. It has to be business relevant. It cannot be open-ended. You take your fundamentals, which could be science, which could be you know, data-based methodologies, statistics, and you put it all together. And, and to me, that's the fundamental blocks of innovation. Here, we, we build things and we test them, we prototype stuff, uh, come up with ideas, crazy ideas sometimes. And then we put it on the rig and uh, see if it works. So to come up with solutions for things, you have to really understand how things work. And I guess it's that basic curiosity that, that leads us to some really interesting revelations. Mechatronics is a combination of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, and controls. I mean, I could be on the rig one day, turn in a wrench, and the next day I'm designing something on the computer, or I'm programming. I, I just I love how multifaceted it is. It really speaks to my nature. The idea behind this is the robotic system takes people out of harm's way, doing repetitive tasks, tailing pipe, doping pipe, doing mud containment. I am really interested in how systems work overall. So that's what I really like about this project in general. Now automating it is really fun. We're changing the industry, like a step change in how drilling is done on the rig floor. Every crisis uh, is a, a moment to reorient ourselves while still being true to our core business. The normal of the world is changing and we have to embrace it. Pivoting it towards more diversified uh, product portfolio, as part of which there is a lot of emphasis on renewables. And now the, the solution is becoming more complicated. We need to think about the environment, clean energy. Climate change, equality, diversity, digitalization, automation. Trends that have a huge influence on people, society, the planet, economy, and also make the world, I feel, a more equitable place. We're saying it could be better, and we need to think differently. If you welcome different ideas, and if you're open, then that leads to more innovation. There's always something else to innovate and move forward on. I don't think we're tapped out. So that fear of unknown comes when we are not ready or open to digging deeper slightly and finding there's nothing to be afraid of.